In the previous video, we learned how to use parent data in a child component. In this video, let's learn how to use child data in a parent component. Again, by parent and child, I'm referring to components higher and lower in the component tree. For this example, let's implement a notification banner in the root layout component. In layout.swell file, I'm going to add a paragraph at the top. It reads, notification banner. This content, however, should be dictated by the page that is currently being rendered. For example, on the products page, it should display end of season sale. On a product details page, however, it should display end of season sale and 50% off. Hopefully, the requirement is clear. Now to implement the ask, we first need to load different notification content in products and product ID load function. In products, page.js file, const notification is equal to end of season sale. Add notification to the return object. Similarly, in product ID page.server.js file, const notification is equal to end of season sale and 50% off. Add notification to the return object. Now that we are loading data into both the pages, we can access the data in our parent layout file. And for that, we use the stores module, which we have already seen. In layout.svelte file at the top, import page from $app slash stores. Now in the paragraph tag, instead of the hard-coded text, bind $page.data.notification. Here, $page.data refers to the object that is returned from the page load function. That would be the object from page.js for the product list page and page.server.js for the product ID page. Let's make sure to wrap this in an if block to account for the absence of a notification in other pages. If page.data.notification exists, only then render the paragraph tag. If we now head back to the browser, and take a look at slash products, we see the notification banner says end of season sale. If we navigate to slash products slash one, we see end of season sale 50% off. We are able to read an inner component data in a wrapping component. In other words, we are using child data in a parent component. Now, a more practical use case is setting the title for a particular page in the application. In the root layout, we use the Svelte head element to render the page title whose content is controlled by the title returned in each page. So Svelte head, and we set title to page.data.title or the string code evolution. So if a page loads data with a title property, that will be the title of the page. If there is no such title, code evolution becomes the title of the page. Here, Svelte head is a Svelte element that allows us to modify the head tag in a page. Title is regular HTML that updates the page title. We bind title property loaded in a page. If there is no title provided, we default to the website name, which in my case is Code Evolution. If we head back to the browser and navigate to slash products, we see the tab name, list of available products. Navigate to slash products slash one, and we see product details as the page title. Navigate to home page, and we see Code Evolution as the page title. As you can see, we don't have to include this Svelte element in every single page. 
We add it once in the layout and load the appropriate data in each page. Hopefully, using child data in Svelkit makes sense to you. Now we do have a few more topics to cover under data loading, so let's keep going. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.